Hello everyone, let's talk about diabetic ketoacidosis. It is identified in a child when there is a blood sugar level of more than 11 millimoles in the body, either due to a reduced or a complete absence of insulin. The pathology behind it is the autoimmune destruction of the beta cells of the pancreas. So the symptoms of acidosis can include confusion, abdominal pain and shortness of breath, whereas the symptoms of hyperglycemia can be presented as polyuria, polydipsia and abdominal pain. In addition to these, the child may also present with vomiting, dehydration, tachycardia, kusumal breathing and a ketone order in their breath. So in all cases of DK, you initially assess the airway, breathing and circulation and if the child is stable, you can manage the child in the ward. But if there are any signs of shock, dehydration or any at any point of time if the GCS is low, you immediately admit to the PIC. So initial investigations focus on your blood glucose levels, uh, blood gas analysis, electrolytes and perform an infection screening that also includes your cultures. And for the management part, for the initial few hours, the child will be nilpur oral and will need IV fluids with a continuous insulin infusion. And in selected cases, you also must replace the electrolytes like potassium and bicarbonate. Strict monitoring needs to be done until the child is stabilized and prior to discharge, we need to counsel the family and the child.